Hello everyone, this is Rohit Singh. Welcome to the Yaring Mind. In the last video, we have seen use state and use effect hook with a counter and a timer application. And today we will be getting introduced with use context hook with a to-do app. And this is the basic folder structure of the app. And uh, the end result will look something like this. Here we can add a to-do. It's task 2. Let's add one more. And here we can uh, check and uncheck the to-do like it's done or not done. And we can edit a to-do like it's to, let's make it 23. And it got edited. And we can delete a to-do from here. Yeah. So basically it has three functionalities like toggling a to-do, editing a to-do and removing a to-do. All right, let's quickly create a blank React app and we will be starting from scratch. And KX create React app. We have seen this many times. And let's name the application as to do. All right, our blank React app got created. Let's quickly open it in VS Code. All right, let's also start the app. Let's keep these two windows side by side. Let's remove this header. And let's quickly uh, create our folder structure. In SRC, we will have a components folder. Inside components, we have a todo.jsx. Let's run RFC. And we have a todo input.jsx. And we have a todo item.jsx to map the todo item. And we have a to-do list dot jsx. Let's create a context folder. Inside context, let's create to-do context dot js. Inside to-do, we will be importing all this. So this will be the input that we have seen here. And to-do item is for mapping the single item. And to-do list will be for storing the complete list. And we will importing all these three files in todo.jsx. All right, let's create context for our application. Context equals to create context. It will be auto imported. All right, let's create our todo context provider. So it's port const. It will take children as we will be wrapping our application with this to do context provider and let's make one state and we will be keeping it in an array and let's make a few functions const add to do it will take title all right let's create a to do object for now in which we have a title time of creation and a completed state like it will be a, a done or it is pending and let's keep one id for every to do let me name it as to do obj title time will be date dot now so while creation every to do will have a false state and for id let's use UUID for now. So let's see the documentation of UUID. So to install, we have to run npm install UUID. All right, it is get installed. Let's import it. And let's use this to create the unique ID. So we have our to do object in which we have a title, we have time completed state and it is id and let's 
add this to our to do's array set to do's we will get a previous state from here and we will be spreading our previous state and and adding our to do object here let's create one function for updating the to do All right. So here we get our new new to dos with uh, uh, with this. So we are mapping our previous to dos and where the ID of that to do matches to our uh, IDs in this to do array. And we will be spreading all the items inside it like ID con completed and time. And we will be updating the title with the new title that we get from here. And we will be setting up this to do with this updated to do. Let's do that. Correct. Let's make one function for uh, removing the to do. Here we need an ID so that we can get to know like which to do we need to remove. Let take the to do. to do dot filter item and if item dot id double equals to id we will return false else we will return true so by this we will get an updated to do's where this to do with this particular ID will get removed and we need to set the to do's with this updated to do on that updated to do's alright here it will be also updated to do let's create one function to toggle the to do on toggle to do Alright, let updated to rules equals to to do start map item and alright here we need ID sorry if item dot ID double equals to ID we will return spreading our item and and what's the name of the key it is completed completed not item dot completed so basically we are toggling the state of the to do with this particular id so we will return the item all right, so we will be having our updated to do's by this and let's set the to do's. So we will be performing four actions, adding a to do, updating a to do, removing a to do and toggling a to do. All right. Let's create a provider state for that where we will be keeping all these functions and the state and we will be passing it to the uh, context provider provider state so if you to do's add to do update to do remove to do toggle to do toggle to do toggle to and let's return to do context in this context dot provider let's keep the children in between 
and let's keep give it a value with this provider state and let's also make one function to use to do context else we have to import everywhere uh, do this thing everywhere let's see what it is use to do context here we'll be returning use context inside that we will be passing to do context if we don't do this here we will have to do this in all the pages we will be using this and we will be getting this provider state in all the pages all right and let's uh, start building our to do so let's first import this to do to our root all right it is not imported all right so we can see our to do let's import let's keep one h1 tag here and to do app let's name it as to do app and let's import this to do input here first let's create a input field here and let's create one button to add to do all right let's keep one placeholder add to do all right let's keep one state for storing the text of this input field and on change we will be handling this all right so we are giving it a value of text that will be an empty string and while we input it will set that text uh, to this value all right all right so we can input in this text field all right so when we click this add to do we have to run this add to do function and we have to pass our title all right so let's import add to do use to do context all right so basically here we can say cannot destructure the property add to do it is because we didn't trap our application with this to do context provider that we have created here this one so let's wrap our app this to do context provider and let go to to do input and we have to run this function when we click add to do button all right here we need to pass the text and uh, let's uh, use this in to do list.jsx let's import all the to do here use to do context and let's map this to do here to do start map item return let's for now let's return a h1 tag with item dot title and let's import this to do list in this to do all right test add all right so we have got our result and i think it is key property and let's make one uh to do item uh to render uh, the to do list so here let's import uh, let's design few things here so here we will be getting the item and 
we will be rendering the same thing that is h1 tag with item dot title let's keep it in curly braces and here we have to in run this so to item with the uh, item prop all right item dot key so we get so this error got resolved here and we will be passing this item to this to do item and here we will be receiving this item let's check it row it here we have a result let's design it give it a minimal design like title and let's keep it as h4 and let's do one more thing like is pipe status if item dot uh, completed as completed is our key if it is true then we have to show completed here else we will be showing pending all right so currently the status is pending all right this is all the information that we need to see and here let's make few button let's make one button for toggling the to do toggle terrible gary toggle to do let's keep one button for remove to do and let's keep one more for update to do let's style it a little bit nine styling background color as let's give it as red and let's give it color as white test steel and if we type here task 2 say so task we can say task 2 also so let's add few functionalities on these buttons let's padding here like padding as 10 pixel and right and margin as 5 all right and now let's all right so when we click this add to do button we should remove this right so let's do it After adding this to do, we will be setting this test to an empty string. Alright, let's see. Alright, this is done. And let's add the functionalities on these buttons. Let's import it first. Const. Remove to do. toggle to do and update to do from use to do context all right and while toggling the to do we need to pass only the id all 
Hyundai toggle to do and here item dot id let's see all right we can see the state is changing all right let's add a uh, event to remove the to do remove to do and here we will pass item dot id let's see if we can remove it all right we can remove the to do and we can toggle the to do and one more thing that is left is updating a to do so i am leaving this updating a to do to you to try and in the next video we will be doing few more things like we will be updating our to do and we will be adding this css to this and our final result will look something like this and i will provide the complete css uh, file in the next video till then please give it a try to update the to do with an input field try to replace the text with an input field and try to uh, do some changes you can take the screenshot of this to do and you can try it by yourself and uh, in few days we will be seeing this how we can do this transform this to do to this please be with me we will be learning few new things all right if it helps you in any way please like the video and subscribe to the channel and comment if you have any queries or any suggestions or any topics related to web dev till then bye bye keep learning please give it a try to update the to do and add few css by yourself thank you bye bye